New information tonight after the death of an IRS special agent. This happened yesterday during a training exercise at a federally run firing range in the North Valley. And tonight we're learning more on why some agents carry weapons. Fox 10's Brian Webb live tonight at the IRS office in Phoenix with more. Brian. Well, guys, the IRS is the sixth largest law enforcement agency in the U.S. Most of the employees work at offices like this one. But others investigate what are sometimes dangerous financial crimes, finding $10 billion in 2021. Firefighters and police officers stand at attention as the body of an IRS agent is taken to the medical examiner. Anthony Dominicus is a former IRS special agent with experience working in Arizona. It's heart-wrenching. It makes me a little sick. I mean, it's just a tragic accident. The IRS says only criminal investigation special agents are issued guns, sometimes because lots of money and lives are on the line. We're not going after somebody misreporting a home office or a mom and pop underreporting some of their income. We're going after the, the, the larger players the wealthier players that should be paying their fair share of taxes and don't. Death and taxes came together on Thursday at a firing range in the North Valley. 47-year-old Special Agent Patrick Bauer was killed during a training exercise. Exactly what went wrong remains a mystery. Charlotte Dennis is a spokesperson for the IRS. Criminal investigation agents are often called upon by other agencies to conduct investigations for their ability to dismantle financial crimes. The FBI is handling the death investigation and the findings will be turned over to the U.S. Attorney's Office, leaving the IRS down to special agent and with lots of questions unanswered. Um, we have a very sound training program and, you know, I, th this hasn't happened before and it's just, uh, it's just sad. Patrick Bauer was a longtime Arizona resident and retired master sergeant with the Arizona National Guard. He leaves behind a wife and four children. Live in Phoenix, I'm Brian Webb, Fox 10 News.